Hi friends, today we are going to do seismic analysis. There are two types of seismic analysis, static and dynamic. In static, uh, today we are going to do, do the static part and in dynamic there are further two types. One is response spectrum analysis and the second one is time history analysis. So let's start with static analysis. So for that I'm just creating one new project and my units are in meter and kilonewton and let's start with structure wizard and i'm taking truss model uh, sorry frame and i'm importing a bay frame with having length uh, height 9 let's the length and width at 12 12 meters each and number of bays 3 along height and along with three so let's let's just import this model to our strat pro software let's merge it and i'm importing it on x y and z value at zero so now we have to define some specification to this structure so to do that just go to general and define as a standard I just let me take rectangular type of specification with 0.25 and 0.2 meters each let's just assign this to hall structure just go to assign to view and it has been assigned to my hall structure now let's create some support so for this particular type i'm going to create one fixed support and to assign this fixed support easily let me just orient my structure from z direction and select that support and assign it now you can see when i rotate it you can see my supports have been assigned to my structure so now we have to assign some loads onto my structure then go to load and definition so for when you do seismic analysis then you have to first define what code you are going to use to analyze this building so for that you have to go to this part definitions and just click it when you expand it then you will find different different types over here then you have to go to define uh, seismic definitions and you have to hit add button so this dialog box will come this dialog box will uh, is very important so on the top of it you will find different types button and when you click it you will get different types of available standards or available codes according to international standards then uh, for example if i am uh, constructing a building in india then i have to follow indian code which is is 193 2002 2005 you can see it over here from top it is one two three four five six seven eight one and i'm gonna select it then the moment i select it there are some changes on to these parameters either you can enter these parameters by yourself if you are good enough to fill them and you are experienced enough to fill them otherwise you can go to generate button i will talk about it later first let's talk about these two options there you can tick and untick them the first one is include 19 1893 part 4 this code particularly defines whether your building is a industrial building or not if it is a industrial building then kindly just tick it otherwise leave it and this one is include accidental load this uh, uh, this uh, this box particularly defines uh, to consider the loads while you are uh, doing construction of your building then it will avoid failure of accident during your construction so now let's go to this generate button now when you hit this generate button then you will find like uh, you can either choose city and zone as you know every city is uh, every city is having its seismic zone so accordingly stat pro gives me uh, standards which i have to follow while i have to do designing and analysis of particular building so let you can either select any of them city or zone so let's go to city and here you can choose from the list of cities available in stat pro 
uh, for example I will choose my own city Delhi and uh, let me press D and uh, it's Delhi is there now you will see value of Z has been changed it is 0 0.24 for Delhi after that this is uh, one more important thing response reduction that means when your building is under earthquake then a force will be applied a seismic force will be applied on your building and your building gonna respond to this force so if your response of your building is too high then it will tend down to fall so this uh, this response is given by some factor so if you want to your building very flexible then you have to reduce it or accordingly you have to choose this choose it like it depends upon which type of building you are constructing for example what type of wall you are choosing what type of beam and column you are choosing for example there are so many available standards I, here in strat pro for example the first one is ductile shear wall with omrf ductile shear wall load bearing masonry wall building uh, kind of our brick uh, brick wall something like that and uh, like it like whenever i choose something then you focus on this part it gonna change let's choose this one now it is four now let's um, take special rc moment resisting frame and it's five for this type particular type after that what type of importance your building carry for example if it is a hospital it is a school then it is very important building because most of uh, uh, most of uh, uh, most of the time these buildings are crowded so you have to take special care when you design it because these buildings should be very strong enough uh, there are two types important buildings and all general buildings for example let me take it general building after that on what type of soil your building gonna be constructed if it is very soft then and then there will be some set of instruction which we have to follow and accordingly we can choose from uh, for example i am taking medium type of spoil, uh, soil there are generally three options available hard soil medium soils and soft soil for example let me take medium soil and then structure type what type of structure you are using rc frame building steel frame building or all other buildings so for example it is like a type of uh, construction you want to do and uh, uh, it is part okay so uh, let me give damping ratio as 0 0.5 and these two period x and period in z direction will be given us to by uh, stat pro software itself so let's gen generate button and you will see some values have been given uh, by this particular operation so just hit this button add then it will ask for self weight i am using self weight factor in as one and i'm gonna add it after that i have to how much is my member weight so i'm using uni and giving 15 and uh, add after that i have to give some floor weight also so as you know pressure i am giving 3.75 and uh, there is uh, some particular reasons as uh, as a civil engineer you are supposed to know them and um, why i am giving 3.75 because you all know uh, when we give that uh, pressure load uh, our floor load at that time the formula for floor load is thickness into material density so my thickness is 0 0.150 into tw uh, and my material density is 25 kilometer per uh, kilo newton per meter cube so when i multiply 25 in, into one, uh, 0 0.150 then it comes 3.75 so that's why i'm using 3.75 now you will see define y range as my building is of 9 meter then let me give 9 here and let's just add and close now you will see I guess I haven't added that one flow weight uh, flow weight is 3.75 3.75 and 9 and let me add so it's now there 
let's define member weight and uh, to define it as my member weight will be applied onto my beams so let's select all the beams parallel to x all the beams parallel to z and let's just assign to selected beams and assign you will see now it has been assigned now what we will do we have to create two load cases each one for x and z direction so let's go to load case detail and add and choose a type as seismic let me give name as x and uh, let me add one more as seismic type and give name as z so now i have to do i have to add go to seismic load and then you have to add in x direction for x1 for that particular let me for show you this particular one have to in x direction and factor one and simply add it now i have to choose my load case z and have to add type as seismic load and i now i have to choose this z factor one and let me add it so now i do not have to do anything much i have to just go to analysis and print and i have to choose option all now add it and just close and run the analysis f5 is control f5 is the shortcut if you want to choose your keyboard and uh, let me go to my output file and when i go to results then you will see as i told you i created two load cases one in title as x and one title as z so it has given me information about both so let's talk about first one uh, like first one so it is showing me that time period for x as i shown you while i was giving before hitting that generate button while i was defining definition of seismic then there were two options time period for x and time period for z so these are the values for both of them as i told you that stat pro itself will provide me those information to you now the thing is that there is something more here there is something sa upon z this is my rock on soil factor is equal to 1.025 loading factor is 1 as i told you as it, it was uh, the thing which i gave input now now you will see this is my base here uh, base here and uh, as you know the formula of base here is a h into w seismic coefficient into seismic weight so this is 6448.93 is seismic weight of my building you can see here and in x direction this is my seismic coefficient okay and this uh, this is in z direction so let's talk about for x direction so at one particular joint what is lateral loading you can see here it ha it has been listed here after that at particular torsion moment after that my factor is one you will see total lateral load is 13.937 at uh, uh, and the torsional moment is zero at meter at level three that means let me show you at this particular level that means my first floor of the building so now you can see this is at six meter for the second floor and this is my third floor now you will see you focus on this particular total load 13 on first floor 55 on six uh, on second floor and 123.783 at my top floor that means the moment we are going upward lateral force is increasing the same thing as it is the basic of seismology 
so you can see same thing for z direction also so that's it for to, uh, today and uh, in the next video we will be doing uh, response spectrum and time history analysis and uh, if you like the video you can um, uh, subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos jai bharat jai india this is